Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. This is episode 3 of our year-long series titled The Quest for Every Halo Hero. In this series, we will track down by any means necessary every single one of these beautiful, iconic figures from across the Halo universe. This is my current collection and it's growing every day. In the last episode, we unboxed The Prophet of Truth, Sergeant Johnson, The Spartan Mark VI, and Two Brute Warriors and a brute chieftain. At the end of that episode, I told you that the theme for episode three was Spartan reinforcement. So here's the box. Inside, we've got a ton of really important Spartans. I'm gonna rip them all open today. Without further ado, let's take a closer look. Folks, we're in for a treat today. We've got so many to unbox. Two packeted Halo heroes and five, can them five, unpacketed. Okay, let's start with one of the sealed, okay? I think you might be able to tell what this is, even from the blurred out imagery. Let's check it. It's the Spartan Mark VII. You can't get more iconic when it comes to Halo Infinite than this brand new Spartan. He's been the buzz around the community. You know, if you're going to introduce a brand new wave of Spartans and call them the Mark 7s because you know the Mark is so important in terms of Halo lore. You got to do it right and they definitely did. They made him look just like Noble 6 which was the perfect move. He had a bit of a stiff head there and I also love this red color scheme. I was donning this in the Halo Infinite beta. It looks so fantastic and back then when this was first released with Mega Constructs we didn't even know about armor coating so we were totally perplexed as to why he had a red arm. He was like really C-3PO up in here. So we thought he was an official named character that they called Spartan Mark VII just, uh, you know, to not spoil anything for the game. And there might still be a little bit of that. We have Spartan Stone and Spartan Griffin. Smoke and shadow aside, this figure looks awesome, man. Like I've always been such a big fan of this. The paintwork is perfect. There is nothing wrong with this. And if you, if you covered that, you would think this was Noble Six. Like, honestly, I see what they're doing. I see what they're going for. And yes, he's got the iconic bulldog shotgun, now iconic. I mean, I shouldn't say that, or at least I couldn't have said that a year ago, but now everybody's been playing with this in the game. They're like, yeah, this weapon is actually pretty awesome. So I think it now deserves the iconic name status. That's our first Spartan for today, the Mark Seven. Uh, you know, just a, just a basic Spartan. But we're going to follow this with the other figure from series 12 that I've got to open today. This is one from series 12 and this is the second and you'll be able to figure this out if I tell you this is my favorite figure from series 12. I think it might be the most detailed figure ever made by Mega Constructs. This is such an outstanding one, the Spartan Gungnir. Look at that, man. Look at that metallic green. I love the metallic green, man. Like, oh, there were some dark days with Mega Blocks, Mega Constructs when they first started with Halo 4 and 5 and every Spartan was just green, just like lime pasty green throw up green with like no details, but gone are those days. Now we are full details everywhere. Even the helmet, it has a nice little dot by the eyepiece. There's a silver kukri knife, which I really do wish was detachable. Like that is a bit of a shame. The bullet casings have really nice bronze strips going down them. Ah, I've said that, I've said it a thousand times with this Gungnir. I love it. So it's no surprise that I'm unboxing a second one. And yes, he has a cybernetic arm. In hindsight, this was another spoiler for the customization in Halo Infinite because you can have cybernetic pretty much anything in the infinite customization menu. He comes with the mauler. I love the rotating drum on this gun. Like th this is just a really, really exceptional figure. They go hand in hand. Uh, I got a nice little collection on my desk of all of the metallic green figures because you gotta, you gotta have them all together, you know? We can also have these two as a fire team together. There's gonna be a large fire team today. I'm building up to one figure with which is one of the rarest and most expensive Halo Mega Constructs figures ever made. This is not a Spartan, mind you, but I'm saving it till the last moment. Predictions down below on what figure that is. We're going to go for the next basic Spartan today. Drum roll, please. We've got a Spartan soldier 
with the dog face paint. Yes, I love these base plates, man. You, you just can't compare them. They're so much better. And guys, I really do hope from the bottom of my heart that you're enjoying this quest for every Halo Hero series. I really do want it to continue for like a year to come. So let's just see how these first few episodes go. I got seven boxes right now filled with Halo Heroes to open. And then I've got a couple more incoming uh, from an online website and maybe more after that. We'll see. We'll see. Definitely when I get to America, there will be more. Hey, again, it, this is a, a, the same. I said this with the Spartan Mark VI in the last episode. It's weird face paint or weird body paint, but it kind of works. This one, I, I don't know. It does work a little bit, but it's not the best. It's definitely like I wouldn't choose to like buy this second hand. I would definitely buy this if I saw it first hand, but buying it second hand for like more money, like a scalped price or like, well, I shouldn't say scalped all the time. Like there is a fair, you know, prices can inflate naturally over time. That's fair, but I wouldn't pay an inflated price for this if I wasn't trying to complete my collection, but I got this one from a buddy of mine in Hong Kong and uh, it was super cheap, so no problems there. All right, we'll get his armor on and I'll explain. Maybe you've noticed that I do actually have this figure already. He's chilling in the back of my collection and I showed him off in my Primer series uh, where I showed off all the figures that I've got so far in Halo Heroes, but you may notice I did not have that base plate. Here's my Spartan soldier and he's base plateless. So this is my brand new Spartan soldier. I'm gonna sell this one second hand. But uh, yeah, I mean, you know what? Now I've put him together, he does look pretty exceptional. I, I do like this figure a lot. Trivia time. Can you tell me another Spartan from Halo Heroes that's in white? Let's see if you guessed correctly. Our fourth figure for today, our fourth Spartan is the Spartan Vector. Yeah, buddy. I think this one and the soldier go pretty much hand in hand. So I definitely wanted to show them off together. I'm just really excited, guys. I've only got three or four days left. At the time of recording this, this will all come out backwards and higgledy piggledy. But at the time of recording this, I've only got four days left in my apartment in Hong Kong. And here's our vector. On first glance, you would say, uh, you know, oh no, another just basic white Spartan. But this one actually gets a big one up compared to the soldier because it has this lovely speckled effect all across its Armor. This soldier is just pasty white, like he's just a little bit boring. But this vector, this vector is gorgeous. Look at those speckly little dots. That means every vector looks different. And I'm a big fan of that, big fan. I don't really like uh, the way they did the vector in Halo 5 Guardians. I thought it was a bit ugly. But I still respect it, I still respect it. I kind of love all those like bubble uh, sort of helmets. Also, those thrusters on his back look amazing. The red highlights, they do, they, they look almost like scratches. I don't mind, like, I, I could see this fitting into, like, the actual Halo universe lore a little bit more than some of the ridiculous ones. And let's talk about that concussion rifle. I know people die for this concussion rifle. It's so Halo Reach-esque. And these two make a pretty good pair, I would say. Very nice. High five or head five. We're knocking these Spartans off one by one. This is the fifth for today. A yellow Spartan that I was also looking forward to getting. This is the Spartan Athlon. Ever since I saw the premiere gameplay for Halo 5 Guardians, I was in love with the Athlon. I must say, I do like it quite a lot. I don't really see it fitting into like the big Halo universe. I don't see Athlons running around, you know, taking out Covenant or Banished. I do at least like really enjoy playing as the Athlon like in uh, Arena Slayer, you know, in like competitive matches. Like it looks like a, it looks like a boxing champion, you know, like it looks like it does some professional sports. It looks like an, it, I mean, a lot of these were designed to be eSports Spartans, right? That was Halo 5 Guardians' aim. Be like the new eSports uh, multi-million dollar thing. I don't really think they succeeded. They definitely succeeded in making money off rec packs. I'll tell you that much. Oh my God, they must have made so much money off those rec packs. But I don't think they would have necessarily succeeded with uh, with making Halo 5 Guardians the new eSport thing. I actually think that Halo Infinite might become the new eSports sensation. All right, so Spartan Athlon. This is one of the examples of serious like muddy battle damage. This one doesn't look too bad. The Spartan Helio Skrill from this uh, Halo Hero series. Now that one looks ugly with its uh, with its muddy battle damage weathering. Uh, I don't think that one looks good at all. So the Athlon, I think it gets away with it and it's holding the storm rifle, just, you know, showing that it's clearly out of Halo 5 Guardians. I, I, I can't really tell where the mud begins. I guess 
it's not mud, this one. You know, honestly, to, to be honest with you guys, at first I did think there was some mud here, but now I've got it all assembled. I can see that that's some gold highlighting, which actually works really well. Um, in saying that, I guess this is just plain yellow, which uh, is it's not too bad. I do like this light blue visor. The black is a little bit strange, but that printing on his helmet's nice and it matches his shoulders. Yeah, this is a, it's a really good one. Flip that shoulder round. I think that's the right way around. If not, the comments will butcher me. Display stand on. That is the Spartan Athlon and the fifth in our Spartan reinforcements episode. We've still got two figures left to go, one more Spartan and one more very, very rare figure. Let's dump this one out. You'll have already guessed by now what it is. It's the Spartan Centurion. No named Spartans today. We've just got the basic Spartans, which you know, sometimes you just need the basics. And we've still got so many of them. And I'm telling you, the last figure for today will really impress you. So do not worry. The Spartan Centurion. I thought it was nice we had Vector and Centurion together, if you know why, you're a true Halo fan. And let's pop these two arms in. I may attach some of these shoulders incorrectly at first, but do bear in mind, it is sweltering hot in Hong Kong. I'm covered in sweat <laughs> and I can't have the AC on because I'm recording a video. So I do my best and uh, my, my best is, is, is what you're seeing. <laughs> Base plate finished. The Spartan Centurion, I, I am very impressed with this Spartan. I was when I first opened it. I love, especially more than anything, this battle rifle. I have a few of these. I bought some online. That UNSC logo is fantastic. And then there is a ton of white lines running through it, which I think work really well. We've got all the colors of the rainbow today. Actually, why did I say that when I've got two white, <laughs> two white Spartans? No, we got two white, an orange, a yellow, a green, and a red. That's really nice. But we've been building up to the final figure for today, a legendary one, and something that I've been waiting to get my hands on for so long. The last figure is the one, the only, the iconic, ODST Dutch. Yes, we've got Dutch here today. Fantastic. Dutch is the last figure I needed to complete my Alpha 9 squadron, and he's looking fantastic. Yes, man, look at that, look at that. I'm very happy that Mega Constructs is re-releasing a lot of Alpha 9 and a lot of Noble Team because it's about time. I don't think the iconic characters of Halo should ever be like rare. I just don't think they should be rare. I think they should be readily available at all times. But it is an even balance, you know, like how many times do you want to re-release something because people want, you want people to continue buying your sets and they're not gonna buy your sets if it's the same character over and over. My answer to that is definitely there are a lot of different ways, especially when you've seen MCC recently. MCC has released new skins for ODST members that include things like battle damage, bugger, goo all over book, like loads of different things. So you could differentiate like that if you wanted. People more just want the character. I don't think they're really concerned if like it's a super clean character or like particularly which one. I think people just want to complete Alpha 9. They want to complete Noble Team. So maybe that's a better way of doing it. I certainly think like Blue Team and Fire Team Osiris, like Tanaka. Tanaka needs to be re-released badly. Again, Dutch uh, doesn't really need that rod, but he has it anyway. ODST Dutch boys in all his wonderful glory and the perfect way to finish off this enormous Halo Heroes Hall. Like, this one is a beefy hall. Let's go check them all out on display. Folks, feast your eyes on the hall from episode three of the quest for every Halo Hero. Spartan Vector, Centurion, Soldier, Mark Seven, Athlon, Gungnir, the one, the only, ODST Dutch. What a phenomenal third episode. In episode one, we got four members of Noble Team. Episode two, two series five Halo Heroes. In episode three, all these Spartans and Dutch. So the characters that are brand new to my collection today is the Athlon, Dutch, Dutch, the soldier base plate and the vector. Four new figures, kind of three figures and one base plate. And then the Spartan Mark 7 and Gungnir are just fantastic additions to my collection. So thank you very much for tuning in today, guys. I hope you enjoyed what you see. This was episode three of the quest for every Halo hero. I'll see you back here next time when the theme for episode four is the enemies of the UNSC. So drop your comments down below, predictions on what figures that could possibly be. And I'll see you next time. You stay awesome, you stay safe. and. Today's haul is signing off.